Traffic infrastructure is a battle, a battle between human engineering and mother nature, and sometimes mother nature wins. So in this video, we are going to be taking a trip and visiting a place where even the best of traffic engineers have fallen short to mother nature. And this brings us to Red Bluff, where behind this permanent lane closure structure behind me is our own little Grand Canyon we have here just north of Morgantown, Mississippi where this Highway 587 used to run just along the side of it is no longer there and human engineering was defeated by mother nature. So let's go take a closer look. are going to be asked here and obvious ones are going to be you know what happened here why did the road fail and when was highway 587 even built and why didn't they have the understanding that it was going to fail so when was highway 587 built well highway 587 was built back in the 1950s when human engineering we just didn't have a better understanding how crucial it was to have a solid base underneath the roadway like we know now that you got to have the proper stone and its layers packed down. I mean, we change entire geographies to put these roads down where we're not going to have issues. And here we are, guys. We have made it to Red Bluff. It is just behind me. Let me go ahead and flip y'all around and show y'all a better look of this incredible feature Mother Nature has given us. As you can see, we are walking just off the edge of what used to be Highway 587. And it has now turned into what we call here in Mississippi, our own little Grand Canyon. And you can even see some of the old asphalt here and the road structure of when they even tried to fix the highway and rebuild it where it then just failed again. Now we can go over the reasons to why this road failed and why it turned into this that you see here today. So as you can see here inside of this canyon that's now here north of Morgantown, Mississippi, that a lot of this settlement here is a lot of sand and a lot of red clay. There's just not a lot of stone. There's just not a lot of proper structure to be building a roadway on. Now, humans, we do love to bring in our own materials to build up a solid base for a roadway, which is what their attempt was to do here in Red Bluff, Mississippi. But unfortunately, way down past these trees inside the valley, we have the Pearl River, and that river runs all the way north to Jackson, feeds the reservoir there in Jackson, and then continues down until it reaches the Gulf of Mexico. Well, the Pearl River, it ended up washing away this entire road from underneath it. So all the sand and improper settlement that's on the bottom of this bluff here kept getting eroded away rapidly because of that Pearl River and because of other heavy rainstorms and everything else mother nature can throw at this. If you've ever played at a beach before or built a sand castle and a sandbox in your backyard and how compact and structured that sand castle seems to be, but until you add water, and once you add water, especially flowing water, your sand castle will be washed away quickly and rapidly. Well, the same exact thing is happening here behind me in Red Bluff, Mississippi. And you can clearly see in between the roadway here surface and the base they were trying to build this road on top of, I mean, just compared to what's underneath it, there was never a chance between that rapidly flowing river 
down the valley here. And of course, we have a bunch of hurricanes and a lot of heavy rain in Mississippi that come and reach this destination. So between the 1950s and today, there was just no chance this road was ever going to survive. But just because a little human engineering has failed doesn't mean something beautiful hasn't come from it. As you can see, this place is just absolutely stunning and it's now become a very popular hiking trail to bring your family, to bring people and hike down to the actual river itself and what's down below. So one of the big things too, in 1950, there was not a lot of studies and research going on at the time of these types of roadways, especially building them off of a bluff and just how fast water flowing can actually start eroding away what they're trying to create and the roadway they're trying to build here. So obviously we know better now, we have learned from our mistakes and we are trying to improve any kind of traffic infrastructure so that we don't have something like this happen again. But we do have to have those losses to mother nature to test our limits so that we know what to do and how to continue what we're trying to achieve with human engineering. So because of that roadway washing out, what was the solution here in Mississippi, just north of Morgantown? Well, they decided to cut the road just behind me. And then as you can see, they proceeded to build a alternative roadway. It's now the new Highway 587 that then reconnects a little bit further north and we'll go take a look at that and then maybe actually go see the flow of the Pearl River a little bit further north of here as well. So this is actually a part of Highway 587. Used to be that old road that was washed out and it used to come through Red Bluff, come back here, and then it would veer back on to the roadway. But since it was washed out, all of this had to be removed which is now just a little cut off to the little scenic look where everything now connects back to Highway 587 now and it veers off onto a new roadway with the proper soil types below it where hopefully this road will not be washed away like the old one. <music> behind me is the river that caused it all. This is what made engineers reroute an entire road away from a cliffside at the bluff to further inland to have a safe, easier travel and not have to worry about a roadway being washed out anymore. It may not look like much right now, but when we have heavy rains from the north, it floods down here very quickly and this Pearl River here will rapidly push a lot of water straight south and obviously rapidly erode what we would like to say is the finest of human engineering, but can quickly be turned away by mother nature. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to remember that you just can't take everything for granted because no matter how hard you've worked on something, you never know how quick everything could just be absolutely washed away. And just remember that God loves you. I love you. And of course, thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.